both Yogananda and Jesus were very, very, very aware that this was a world of shadows. Both of them were aware that, that they were not to become identified or actively engage in the shadows. That is a very rare calling, but it's our calling if we're going to wake up from the dream of time and space. We have to learn to not be distracted by the shadows, not be attracted to the shadows, not be repulsed <laughs> by the shadows, not believe that we can control the shadows or be controlled by the shadows. You see how important it is? Our experience has to be that we are one and we are dreaming and we are aware that we're dreaming and we cannot be touched by shadows. We, we are not interested in Shadowland. If people say, is what's going to happen in the future? That's a Shadowland question. <laughs> if people say, did this really occur in the past? That's a shadow land question. Nothing actually ever occurred in the past, nor will it occur in the future. You're right here with me right now to use today to see that you're the dreamer of the dream. And you, you have no reason to be upset for, about anything because, because now is all that there is. So there is no reason ever to be upset. We only have a reason for happiness. We only have a reason for joy. We only have a reason to shout from the rooftops, glory to God, glory to God, glory to Almighty God. Now, prayer is the meaning of, of miracles. And I, I would say that when you pray truly, you open your mind to receive guidance. But even that guidance is just a stepping stone to a silent mind, to a mind that is present, to a mind that is still, to a mind that is emptied of all ego beliefs and ego thoughts. That, that is the only purpose of prayer. We're not interested in the law of attraction. We're not interested in the law of manifestation. We're not interested in using the past to generate a different future. We're interested in seeing the dream is just a dream. This is not going to be a day where we discuss manifesting because there is no manifesting. Manifesting is an illusion. <laughs> I said the I said maybe last week if you want to do a workshop that's poorly attended, do one on the impossibility of manifesting. And then I said, if you want to get zero people in your in your workshop, just do one on healing the pleasure. You know, that will surely keep you there by yourself to face that thought. But this this lesson today has nothing to do with trying to make the world a better place, but it, it's about seeing the shadows as shadows.